Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Dusseldorf, but not for long. I filmed a couple of Flixbus journeys in the past. I don't have a love affair with Flixbus, but they always seem to operate every route that I need. They also operate between Dusseldorf and Frankfurt, and that's the coach I'll be using today. This is going to be my first ever coach journey in Germany, so I'm looking forward to it. I recently featured a video in Ireland, it was between Limerick and Dublin, and I think it was the M7 motorway we went along, and I described it as exciting and inspirational as any motorway in the UK. Today we're going to be going along the A3 Autobahn. In itself is exciting because I've never been on one of these fabled autobahns before, so that in itself is looking for I'm looking forward to. The distance is 228 kilometres or 142 miles, and it'll take around 2 hours 20 minutes. Worth mentioning, the fare was £16.51 way. A train at the same time, 1 hour and 30 minutes, would cost €40 Euros or about £34, about double the price. So I guess it depends on what's more important to you. Saving £17 or saving 50 minutes. Right, let's find this bus stop. Down here somewhere according to Google Maps. Over here, we just kind of spoil for choice when it comes to Flixbus buses. und zum Essen und Trinken die Maske abnehmen. Bitte achtet jedoch darauf, die Maske nicht länger als nötig abzusetzen. Bitte vergewissert euch nun, dass euer Handgepäck sicher verstaut und der Mittelgang frei ist. Nutzt hierfür bitte die Gepäckablage über euch und verstaut das Gepäck sicher unter eurem Sitz. Germany is seen as an over-regulated and rule-obsessed nation, so a lack of speed limits on autobahns has come to symbolise the last remnants of freedom. There's only one other place on earth where roads have no speed limits. Can you guess where that is? I'll tell you in a moment. Recently there's been talk of imposing autobahn speed limits in an attempt to reduce Germany's fuel consumption and dependency on Russian oil. The German Green Party, which is part of Germany's coalition government, wants a 130 km per hour or 80 mile per hour limit on all autobahn sections starting next year. There's already a backlash, so only time will tell. 
Where else are there no speed limits on roads? The Isle of Man. Welcome to Frankfurt. What did I think of Flixbus between Dusseldorf and Frankfurt? Very comfortable ride. I actually nodded off for about 20 minutes. It was a very nice ride indeed. When we left, well, when we left Dusseldorf, the bus was fairly empty. By the time we got to Cologne Airport, it was kind of full. Uh, one slight problem with Flixbus, when you book your reservation online, you get to allocate your seat. And I went for 1C, which allows me to film in the front and film to the outside as well, just for you guys. But unfortunately, row one on that bus was actually closed to the public as a kind of a buffer between the passengers and the driver, and that's for COVID reasons. The Autobahn. Well, between uh, Dusseldorf and Cologne, it was busy, 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 unlike the bus, which was empty. But once we got beyond Cologne, the bus was full, the Autobahn wasn't too bad at all, and people really put the pedal to the metal. I'll tell you what, these guys were going fast. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little journey on Flixbus in Germany, and I'll see you next time.